شش هست هستی هم so, the continuation what the Zohar says Tereo S is which, which we say Tereo S one of the one of the biggest Tamil Chachamim that talk about a lot about uh, different Esot how a person should uh, uh, behave to have a very good great life in this in this uh, journey in this life and move on to the Olam Haba and give us a so for the U.S. beings, the concept of what? The concept of a person about the work. Beings like, one of the good things I like about the U.S., which is Sefer Musa, it brings different scenarios and talks about it and gives you a saw, advice how to go about and what to do in order to have, it, to have success in it. And it talks about here, about, about what? About getting married and the work. What should a person do? A person needs to get married. So what's the Esau? What, what a person should do if he is into And he gives different scenarios of a person when he is in it and he needs to get married. What are the recommendations? And goes in the part of the world, he talks about the role of the father, responsibility of the father, responsibility of the son, and responsibility of the daughter. How do, what, are, what are the things the person should do in order to get married and have a successful life? Because we have the result of the first list of a person have in the Torah, in Peru, 600, we have 613 commandments. The first one is this, the person should become multiplied. And it's not, we should go, not go and think about he should have a sexual loss with this woman that he likes. Or that. Even if she's Jewish, right, we, the person should be very careful. If she's not religious, nothing good can, can come out of her. Because we have, we have a story from Gemara that they were, uh, they were husband and wife, they were both Hasidim, they were both with Sadiq and Sadkaniyot. And then they didn't have a children after 10 years, they divorced. The man that went married, the, the, the both married the Jewish people, of course. The man that was married to a, a, a woman that was not religious and was a Mushat, was not was a weekend, he was not religious, right? He, he ended up going after her uh, um, opinion and became completely non religious. And the other way around, the woman that was divorced went um, to divorce from that marriage. They went, she went and married a non-religious person, and she, he, the non-religious person, became sadiq, right? And became she was religious. Because she was religious, so we see the, the righteous woman has a very big impact on a person's life. So that's why a person should look for not just for a look. If, if the girl is pretty, right? That doesn't mean that the person should go and marry her if they have a kid. Sometimes, even in English, they say it, fatal attraction. A person could find a girl, she's Jewish, very nice, who looks a lot of good things about her, but she's not religious, so what's the point? If he gets married to her, yet in the, few, the first few months, he might, he might have a lot of uh, pleasure, but down the road, it's not, it's not good for the person. Right? So here it says, uh, going the, there's a part, um, portion about the book, the person should get married. So it says here, Zo Miswa Ha'ava Ben, Mashishagia, and the Yod Ben Shemesu, the whole road, the Yotel, the Ben, a slim, the Zabiko Isha, the Miswa. So the Miswa comes, is incumbent upon the father to marry of his own son. It's not upon anybody, his, the son, but because uh, even in Iran we used to say that. Uh, we say in Persian, the Chasiga should not go by himself to the marriage, to the full wedding. Why? Because he doesn't know, he's not experienced, he has no idea what's going on, and he might just take any girl that comes along, right? But the father, he's, 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 he's been around, he's seen what's going on, he can pick, he can hand pick the, the girl for the, the, the son, and if the son is trying to uh, choose the wrong girl, right? He's there monitoring it, and he's trying to give him an Isa. This is my son. I love you very much, but this girl is not appropriate. Okay, um, but this girl, look, this girl, even though she might not be as uh, beautiful as you expected, but she's going to be the woman of your life. She's going to make your life. You're going you're gonna to have a happy life with her. So that's why he's a mistake upon the father to do it. Right? So as I said, uh, when the son becomes age of 18 to 20, go ahead and marry off uh, your, your son. And this says in the, in the Gemara Kedushin, Haftet, right? It says right there, 
Matai is how Yeshua says, Avosh Baruch Hu, not only expects a person to get married, right? He says, uh, he is, that, that we should do a mitzvah for you, but he expects us that the person gets married at the age of 18, right? Uh, and uh, maybe to 20. And after that, uh, they said, Tifchanat as Motav, that his, whatever it means, his, his, his bones get blown up, right? So, whatever that means, that means Hashem is not happy with this concept of person uh, staying with other wife, right? I, I heard from Arab Yisrael Yosef Shalita, from Rishon Esiyon, said Harav Ali Yosef, the, the Sa'a, he was pushing them to get married at the, this kind of age. He, he, they said, Harav, Father, we are, we are young, we want to learn more Torah. They said, no, he was mis- telling them, it's time for you to get married, go get married. And Harav Ali Yosef pushed him in that direction, at my young, younger age. So this is the myth of the Father to tell even the Be'al Tamidah Chachamim. Right? So now, the concept, what's the concept? He says, if a person doesn't get married young, right, it's a problem of Yehu Amira. Right? So just one question talks about it, that sometimes some men is happier for a person to have Yehu Amira more than doing the Maase. That a person should constantly think about a person is thinking about uh, how a person should do a sexual, uh, fulfill his sexual loss, right? Even though he doesn't do it, it's worse because he has a concept in his mind. So he says, if a person doesn't get married, why Hashem gets upset at him? Because the person is also having Yehure Avera, and Yehure Avera is very, really, very, really, very dangerous for a person. Because what? Once a person has a Yehure Avera, right? Then the more of a person is like Kurdish Kurdishim, is there is like Shekhinah, and the um, Shemot comes in the person, Shekhinah is supposed to come in, in the person's mind, right? When he does that, then Shekhinah is not there no more. So that's why Havosh Baruch Hu wants the person to get married in the, in the younger age, so he doesn't have that, and he says, woe wo to the father that he becomes Achzal, he becomes brutal to his own son, and he doesn't uh, help him out to get married, right? So that's why he says it's so important for the father to do it, and unfortunately, there's a Rambam. There's one Rambam says a person should marry of his child when he has his financially well off, right? There's this uh, there's a Rambam on he on this that talks about it. But uh, we've seen about Hashem the other people that they don't they don't have much money, right? They get married and then there's a bracha from them. They get also they get a bracha and they get financially settled. All of a sudden, that's why Gemara says the bracha comes after marriage. Right. Right. Right, so, so uh, exactly, and that's what we just learned in Zohar. Yeah. We just learned in Zohar when they said that Shekhinah comes in. Mm-hmm. So that shouldn't be something that would uh, make a person uh, uh, procrastinate or, or basically push off the idea of getting married because there are, uh, there's also Gemara, Gemara I think it's Sota, they said Shema, uh, uh, there's another, another concept that we have in the Gemara that says a person finds a girl, right? Shouldn't procast it and don't, don't think too much about it. Why? Go, because if you don't get it, <clears throat> another, get, another person gets it, and there's a problem. Why? Because if he does, he gets somebody else gets that girl, right? Then he might be his soulmate that he, that he, he lost. Right, so war and the Ashu Hazra became a Kazu Kazu at the end had been higher before a view. He can no man as Kamen, the youth of Rabbi Pizza Jerry, Kawala, and the Jack Kamen, the Bakish, Monoa, and Shahid, the Tabla, the Napshu. So he says, if the father doesn't do it, the father doesn't want to get involved in this Misa, right? The son shouldn't become passive, he should be taking a very active role and become as Kamen, he become like a very zealous, right? Like a leopard, and go and ask himself, ask around and say, I'm looking for a girl. Do you know any girl for me? So he go and get married. But we do have a lot of Shem Shamari. Shamari, I will call Shikai Shim, have been very shoot as no. Shekhova, Mutel, Allah, the Mahel is so Ishova, and I said Shikai Benafshu. So if somebody is independent, especially a son is independent, 
doesn't need his father to to, to help him out. He just go and get married, and she didn't she didn't protest it. But him ish anihu, when he was a girl, the parasa ish obanim mitukha and me she said is a big imo. I could point out could ish she could hold the asu yasu the bakesh is the aniya. I feel you know machnesa do bukulum. We observe the shashim she was a do the yikul bracha. So he says. Let's say the person is extremely poor and he can't find again, nobody wants to marry off the daughter to him, right? He shouldn't give up, he should go search for even a very poor lady that is not going to bring no, no dowry to the, to, the, to the marriage, right? And he goes with that concept that he goes, he wants to do himself through the boo and, and do to be good down the bad door and Habosh Baruch Hu brings him the final self. We believe the Baruch Hu. Nice. So that's what he's saying. That's, that's, so for people that they are looking for, for um, to get married, they shouldn't think once they get age 18, 18 20, right? If they have, if the father could help them, they have to, they should do it right away. If not, the son should do, should go for it. And and the reason that uh, some people that go with go the coyote, unfortunately, right? They have this problem that they think. They don't. They're not financially well, right? And they wanna. They wanna. Oh, when they get married, they wanna impress their wife that they have a lot of financial, have a lot of wealth before they marry. And meanwhile, they procrastinate. And by doing that, they say they have all this sexual pressure they have on themselves. And they, they say, meantime, um, in order to release the sexual pressure that they have, they go and sit down with Google, and that's a problem. Or with the other Jewish girls that they, they should have been their wife and they don't get married to them. So the problem that so we see from here, the Chazal, the Chachamim, they say a person have, should have a big emunah that the Parnassah come from a Baruch Hu, even if the person is extremely poor, should look for a wife and basically that would, uh, ish, of course, we're looking for, a person should look for what they call Isha Kishara. Isha Kishara, what is it? For sure, wife, she might be another a woman that uh, wants to listen to her husband because uh, we know how much who created men and women differently. And women, they, 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 are, they are able to, they have a bina, and men have chukma. Men can do long term planning, whereas the woman cannot do it. And that's why the man the, has to be the person to make. Uh, this make most of the decision making, of course, with his wife's advice. But he has to, he has that ability. So uh, when there's a, there's a difference of opinion between husband and wife, in certain things, especially talking about the, in Yonei Torah, the spiritual, spiritual things, person should make it, let the husband, the woman should let the husband make the decision because the husband usually knows better, make a better decision. He has all the facts in front of him, and he can make a long term plan. But I feel who right? So he said, if the woman is ugly, is black, right? Mm -hmm. Should should marry to him, right? I mean, this is this is this is this is a this is a, the U.S. That is saying the the main thing is get married somebody that is has a yad shemayim. Get married. Don't stay alone. Don't 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 don't. Don't say it without, by yourself. The, the woman brings a lot of bracha. Isha Keshira brings a lot of bracha to you. Sheikh Hashem, we are your free. Misal Hashem Barahi, Tazira, the Holy Bonnie, and Sheikh Surah. And we said, if a person marries, marries a woman that is basically, he is doing it in order to do for freedom of Hawash Prophet's will, to bring, bring, uh, bring children to this world, right? Then the whole, the whole thing changes. Basically, the, the whole um, attitude of the person changes. You see that he's doing it all for that, and you should not even think about the, the appearance. Of course, if the appearance, the, there has to be certain attraction, but here it says, if, there's no, if you don't have no choice, right? And this is what you have, marry her. Don't be by yourself, right? Uh, he said, if you're bringing a very fascinating uh, advice, 
which uh, he says, let's say in the city you can't find a wife, right? You can't find it. You go, be going around, nobody, you can't find it, go to another city. If in the entire country you cannot find a wife, mm. go to another country. He says, because, uh, and he says, one thing he says, uh, the interesting word he used, Yaseir Masve Habusha. Take off the mask of uh, being uh, uh, embarrassment. Don't feel embarrassed to ask this thing because by doing this, you gain a lot. By being, by being a little bit and feeling embarrassed, uh, but getting to that point, you're going to gain a lot again and have bad. No, so this is the whole concept of love for Ben, right? So what is the responsibility of a girl? A girl wants to get married, right? Even though Gemara says that the Mitzvah of Kuru, right, or the Sefer Chinook says the Mitzvah of Kuru is only incumbent upon the, the man, not the woman. Uh -huh. So what's the responsibility of a girl? The girl, should she just wait and do, do nothing and be, become passive until a guy comes along? Or should, does she have any uh, any responsibility to get married? Because I remember one time, her, her, again, her brother Ben David, the son, he said a very interesting thing that there was a girl in, one, in, her, in her school. She used to have her Ben David, or Shalom used to have a school for girls. And said there was one certain girl who would not get married, was, was, prolong, was starting to prolong it. He said to the marriage, he said to him, Look, if you get married right now, and if you wait so long, you would, you would not have few, few children by now. Why are you procrastinating so long? So, we can abad hasiwa betenu bratah bakra shakhra abdah we zahabele. We yahabele. Right? So, so for the daughter, the person is, is also is incumbent for the father, right? To, give, to marry off your own daughter. So we have a Gemara that says that one of the Rabbani, Gemara Pesachim, Kufiyu Gimel, he says, you, your daughter wants to become Bugeret. Bugeret is aged 12 and a half. We have a Na'ara, and then we have Bugeret, right? So he says for Bugeret, age 12 and a half, a person should go, there was a Rav that says that he had a, a Jewish slave, and he saw that the Jewish slave had a, had a very good uh, uh, midot. He, re, he released his, his daughter and he married, him, married his daughter to him. And he said, Ashley Haish, she smiled with a fortunate person that listened to the Kachamim, and Ball, and had the one must be at the Adam, she knows the whole thing. No and he said the person should be very careful that shouldn't give up his child to somebody that is not appropriate. Oh. We have to be very, very careful about that. But alien we can do the the vacation ish a mood and don't go this is a this is the test of our generation. Don't go after the birth of a man. Like don't go give up give your daughter to somebody because the guy is wealthy. Because unfortunately, oh. people, many people, they say, a guy is wealthy, he's gonna have a beautiful house, he's gonna have a big, a lot of belongings. This is just a, a mirage. It's a big mirage, why? Because when a person um, gives his daughter to somebody like this, you, the, the consequences of it is not so good. Especially if the person is uh, is a billiard. Billiard is somebody that is not appropriate at all. And I feel very much like the ish ani tanua umane hole to tum the bedel to bim mahor imahara velo vikah shem kutashi. So he said, if you even find a guy that is ani, he doesn't have that much money, right? And uh, you don't have that much money. Yeah, okay, he doesn't have that much money, but he's a good, a good boy for for a, for a shidduch, right? Marry, her, marry, marry your daughter off to him. Why? Because the main thing is son, the, 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 the son that he's marrying to, right, 
is a Dibori he's buying to is a, somebody that he has Yad Shamaim, Yad Ched, and has good Midot, and the money should not be the, the thing that a person should think about. Right? Right, he says, other things, uh, recommendation, uh, another recomm big recommendation uh, that he was bringing for marrying a new son, he says, sell all your, a person should sell all his belongings to find a daughter of a Tamil Chacham. And marry, 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 marry his son to the daughter of Tamil Chacham. Why is it so important? Because the daughter of Tamil Chacham has, also, first of all, her father is a rabbi, right? And she absorbed so much Kedusha and so much Torah from her parents, right? But when the, even, even he, the father is not around, let's say he goes for vacation, for business somewhere, and she's by her, herself, by children, she, the whole family is in good hands because the daughter knows what she's doing and she keeps the whole family intact, right? And another thing he says, uh, right? Right. So, this is this thing that we were saying, these are, these are, these are the things that, uh, again, Peru-US Peru was the first song that they say, all the people in the city listen to his advices, not even one person died when he was, had a gray, uh, black hair. Everybody died, but they were, they were very, very old, and they had a uh, full age. They, they, they reach a full age because they follow him. So he's giving golden advice that when you want to marry, off, marry, marry, marry a girl, right? Look at the one, 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 one uh, good uh, thing that you can find is marrying somebody who's in Tamil Chacham, the father, or if the father is not a Tamil Chacham, look at the brothers. If the brothers are good, that should be good too. Shirok Banim Domim Nachi Ha'am, right? Um Tahdo Shibana Tamil Chacham. So if the brother is also Tamil Chacham, that also is an extremely good sign and that's going to make the person move forward. Umi Shino Enab Tutu, Benam Yesh, Shikha Shatur, Kimi Mechak, David Nachmo, we did Kibot, they told Nintendo, Akharid, the water of the Khail, with the Hadwak Nikhiet. So, and also the other way around, if the person is, wants to marry, marry his, his, his daughter to a Tamil Chacham, right? That's going to be a big, big ma'alam. Why? Because the, for someone that is Tamil Chacham, he listens to the Chazal, and Chazal say uh, one of the big, big recommendations the Chazal have given is what Ogirun and Ashaikhu that you should respect your wife. Once you respect, once you respect your, your wife, right, uh, the bracha comes from it. Because again, the reason in being is we just learned in the, in the Doha Kodesh that you, you respect it. when you person gets married to the to the woman, the, the bracha comes from the Shekhinah. There is like a there is direct connection, right? The person waited so long and didn't go, had any, mm, didn't fulfill his sexual lust or other girls waited, waited, wait, wait, waited to. Wait, wait, wait. Waited for, waited for, <laughs> waited until he got to, to, this, to this point to get married, then. Uh, he, he basically is gonna be, the, the Shekhinah is gonna come and help him out, right? By the way, the Rooster, right? The idea of Rooster is the Chachamim used to have, <laughs> Rabbi Akiva used to have a Rooster, yeah. and the Rooster would wake him up, and they said, the reason Rooster is important to wake for somebody up, because Roosters, they know exactly the time <laughs> <laughs> when when the the, the chassot, and they, they start singing and I remember Harav Harav uh, Harav Netanyahu Shlita, uh, one asked me to buy an alarm clock for him, <laughs> and he had a sound of rooster, 
Alif, you don't have a roof there. Yeah. <laughs> they are the son of it, and he put it around that term because I remember the, the Zohar, the, the interesting Zohar, that there was one of these Chachamim, he had a rooster at his home and he was making a noise, right, on the, on the chassot because this was the whole concept of being, making up the from the own chassot. And also, Rabbi Akiva, the famous story that he went with his donkey, his nail, and the rooster. <laughs> So the, what he had with Rusev with put him for to, to make him look at Chassot. So that's why uh, that, <laughs> that, that's very important to, uh, oh. to have it, so to become a Chassot. So again, going back to the subject, Okiro and Shaykhu, so you say if a person marries up his, her, her daughter to Tamil Chacham, has a lot of benefit. One of the benefits is the Chacham, the Amin Chacham knows what the, uh, the, uh, the uh, Gemara. And the Gemara says, what does the Rav say to his Tamidim? Tamid, Do you want to become wealthy? He said, yes. He said, Okiru and Shaykhu. Respect your wives. So it's very important a person marry off his daughter to Tamid Chacham. And it's very important also for a person to sell all his belongings and marry a daughter of Tamid Chacham or somebody that his sister, her brother of Tamid Chacham. Exactly. <laughs>